Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to take a look and see how to subtract double digit numbers from one another. But there is a special type of double digit number. If you look carefully, notice that the last digits on each number, this one is smaller than that, this one is smaller than this, this one is smaller than that, and two is smaller than five. That makes it easier. Also notice that 20 is smaller than 40, 30 is smaller than 80, 60 is smaller than 90, and 40 is smaller than 70. So in that case, it's very straightforward. What we do is we subtract the 2 from the 4, which gives us a 2, and we subtract the 1 from the 5, which gives us a 4. 45 minus 20, 21 is 24. Same over here. We subtract the 3 from the 8, that gives us a 5. We subtract the 5 from the 6, that gives us a 1. Here we subtract the 6 from the 9, that gives us a 3. Subtract the 1 from the 3, that gives us a 2. Here we subtract 4 from 7, that gives us 3. 2 from 5, that gives us 3. Also, what is not a bad thing to do, that after you've done that, and you wonder, well, did I do that correctly? Because somehow subtracting is always a little bit diff more difficult for us than adding. We can add the la these numbers together to see if we get back the original number here. 2 plus 2 gives us 4. 1 plus 4 gives us 5. We did that correctly. 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 plus 1 is 6. We did that correctly. 6 plus 3 is 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. We did that correctly. And 4 plus 3 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5. We did that correctly. I do that often because sometimes you just look at something the wrong way and you get a wrong answer and then you quickly check by adding the answer back to the second number to see you get the first number back. And I always recommend that you do that, especially when you're taking a test. But that's how we do simple numbers like this, where we don't have to go borrow a number from something else in order to get the correct answer. On the next video, we'll look at more complicated two double digit numbers that we have to track one from the other. But in this case, it is pretty straightforward to do it like this.